Good afternoon all. I thought I'd just have another little go with the uh, Bluetooth speaker project which is going to be powered by supercapacitors because uh, one or two points were raised in the previous video. Um, I've put this little 10k resistor on to override the mute signal because the uh, Bluetooth module here has control of the amplifier mute and in some ways it's a good thing that it does because having overridden that with my 10k resistor, look what happens when I switch this unit on, you get a massive excursion of the speaker cone, movement of the speaker cone, and it's pretty much hitting the end stop, I think. That's pretty nasty. Um, similarly, if I switch it off, you get a little bit of a thump on the speaker. Now, interestingly, if I remove my little resistor mod, which just I've cut it actually, so I'm just going to bend it out. Um, the unit will come on with the speaker muted and when I switch on now there's absolutely no movement of the speaker cone at all. This module will unmute the amp and play its little tones and it's now flashing alternate red and blue so I think it's searching for Bluetooth but uh, it seems that it's important that that resistor is not fitted at the moment of power on uh, otherwise you do get this very large current uh, pushed into the speaker which is not going to do these speakers when I get two of them any good. So let's start a bit of music going. Now I'm going to have to hold this resistor on to there to override the mute. Oh it's holding itself on there now. So this is a bit of uh, Blue Danube by Strauss. Now this uh, unit is obviously searching for Bluetooth at this moment, so I'll probably switch Bluetooth on in a moment. But let's just break this resistor again, like so. And someone suggested, I can't remember who it was, and it's probably not important that I mention them because they suggested that pressing and holding the play pause button for three seconds might override the uh, Bluetooth module's control of the mute signal. but. It doesn't seem to. I'm pressing and holding that for well in excess of three seconds and that doesn't seem to be having the desired effect. So although that may work possibly on some of these Bluetooth modules with these amplifiers, it certainly doesn't work on that one. So I think I'm going to have to retain this 10k resistor. But I think what I'll do is I'll put, so that's not working, I'll put a, a switch in series with the resistor uh, so that you can switch the unit on, power it on, not get that big thump and then once uh, the amplifier has settled down, switch on the mute override, and then that allows you to play music via this aux plug. Now I did wonder whether um, I'd need to connect Bluetooth. So I'm gonna connect Bluetooth on my phone to see whether that stops doing the blue and red alternate. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Yes, yeah, Sanwu Audio, that's it. So it has connected. That's now doing, what's that? Uh, three flashes blue, so I don't quite know what that means. Now let's see if I can override, I think the blue Danube is still playing, yeah, so let's see if I can override with a three second push on this play pause button. And uh, no, that still doesn't seem to be do anything, doing anything with Bluetooth uh, connected. Now let's switch off Bluetooth on my phone. Now we get yet another pattern, which is two red flashes. So we're on to the third pattern. Now I'm going to try the three seconds on the play's play pause button again. And no, it doesn't do anything. And I have tried these other buttons as well, pressing and holding them for three seconds. And that doesn't do anything. So no, definitely I'm going to have to keep my resistor mod. Oops. Connect that. Because of course that uh, forces the mute signal on the amplifier high, up to 3.3 volts, and totally overrides uh, the Bluetooth's control of that mute signal. The only problem is you get the thump on switch off and the much larger thump on switch on. And if I leave that off for probably more seconds, we'll get more of a thump on switch on. Oh, okay, well it wasn't too bad. Probably have to let these caps discharge or something like that. But yeah, that resistor mod I think is needed, but I'm going to put a switch in series with it. 
Now another question that came up is what do these two dual inline switches do? Well they control amplifier gain, there are four gain settings. Um, it was suggested by some people that they are the mute and standby switches, but they're not. So let's have a look at uh, amplifier gain, that's the lowest setting, that's the next setting, and then one zero is the next setting, and that's the highest setting. And the speaker's gone <laughs> some. I think I picked a loud part of the tune. So let's put those back to the minimum setting, which is a bit quieter. So there we are, just a little update on this uh, Bluetooth audio module with power amplifier. Um, it seems that you do need this 10k resistor to override the mute function, otherwise the Bluetooth module just holds the amplifier in mute. The three second pressing and holding of play pause doesn't seem to work. Um, you do need a switch in series with this resistor because when you switch on, if you uh, override the mute so that it's not muted, you get this huge uh, movement of the cone. And these two switches are for the four gain settings on that amplifier. So I hope that uh, moves the project a little bit further forward. Cheerio.